champion omg do i have so much to tell you guys today oh my gosh i missed you first of all and, and i thank you for all those that supported me and reached out susan what's going on where's the show at thank you so much it is truly inspiring to me that 100 and zero is doing what god intended it to do and that's to be an encouragement to those who, you know, just need to know that God is real, you know, and, and, and that you're not alone. You're not alone in any of this. But before I get started, you know what we got to do? We got to say the prayer. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon me. Let not I, Susan Samuel, speak. But you, Holy Spirit, speak through me. As always, let this word be encouragement, Lord, mind, body, soul, and spirit to anyone in here that's a testimony, Lord. And at the end of the day, Lord, you get all the praise, the honor, and the glory. It's not that I, Susan Samuel, but you, God. For God, your word is just awesome, and you cannot lie. But you are God that stay true to your word. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. All right, people, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, um, I want to give a shout out to my Auntie Sylvia. Mm, God bless you, Aunt Sylvia. I mean, my family had a scare in that Auntie Sylvia was in the hospital for some time, actually over a month, um, have fluid on her lungs and it just would not go away. But thank God, um, he saw fit to spare because I believe Auntie Sylvia is like in her seventies, you know? So it, it's a blessing to still have her amongst the land of the living. So shout out to my Auntie Sylvia and my girlfriend, Nisi, OMG people. I tell you, Nisi, you you just truly impressed the system, okay? Um, Nisi did um, a play in Georgia with West Morgan. Shout out to West Morgan. Hello, gospel singer West Morgan, who starred in it um, titled um, Christmas with the Callaways. And, you know, people... I mean, this woman, I call the female version a Tyler Perry. I mean, she's just so phenomenal. Just so awesome. And I mean, we had church up in there, people. When I tell you we had church up in the play, it, it was just so, so awesome. So um, once again, Lisi, God bless you. I love you. And um, I know God has truly anointed you to do what you do. And I know the finances is, is just there. You know, we just got to hold on a little longer, okay? So before I go on, let's get started. Coach, all right, Andrea, I sent you an email. I need some glasses. Come on now. I done decree and declare in the mighty precious name of Jesus that Coach is going to be a sponsor of this uh, broadcast and of this channel and i need some glasses because you know coach i'm making glasses look good hello somebody okay as always um and as promised i want to thank the donors um both individually and corporate contributing towards the backpack giveaway um which assisted families people in three different states tell me that ain't god okay tell me that ain't god just moving you know, mountains, three different states, people in Pennsylvania, California, and New York City, the NYC. So I want to thank Gerard DK II, Tiara Williams, Ronnie Hightower, Christy Robinson of Omega Fitness, Robert Spider, 
Tiffany Spites, Sheila Brown, Carol Samuel, Full Armor Ministries. And let me just give a shout out to PK, Apostle Karen Tucker, just celebrated her birthday Friday, December the 10th. God bless you. Um, Lillian Hernandez, Desmond Scott Financing, Zenobia Samuel Robinson, Venus Tilly, Stacy Stewart Keller, Lloyd Strayhorn, Nelia Trimingham, Michael Williams, Tanya from Helping Hands Daycare, Sister Deboloza, Sunshine, um, number chapter 34, my sister, hello, I see the star in the east, hello somebody, brother Kevin Wortley, Adephic Union Lodge, number 14, Martin Legrand, Susan Livingston, TD Bank, on Hamilton Street in Allentown, PA. Um, Walmart on Mill Creek in Allentown, PA. Dr. Michael Grayson, credit repair. Sean Morrison, Divine Elegance Hair Salon. You see me, people are more blue now, okay? You know, she keep her sister looking good. Teresa at Walmart, and, and I keep coming on here and mentioning Teresa. This is a woman. I, I don't know who she is, people, but I was in Walmart and she see me loading up my cart and was like, oh my God, what's going on? And I know I must have looked, you know, like I'm buying up all the Walmart and school supplies. And I told her that, you know, I'm doing a backpack giveaway, you know, and I'm just, you know, purchasing the school supplies. And she walked away and she came back. And she put this in my hand. She said, this is all I had on me. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I was just blown away that, you know, she even do that. So shout out again to Teresa, whoever you are. Thank you for being a blessing and knowing what you have given, how it helped families in three different states. Matt from Our Mystery Fitness in Allentown, PA. Yes, that's my gym, people. You know, since I got to keep it going, keep working out, right? And so um, they also um, contributed. Um, everyone at the gym had donated school supplies in which, you know, we filled the backpack. Dominique Sharpton Bright, hello, my sister from National Action Network. And my sister, Maxine from Sunshine, chapter number 34, and Van Martin from Van Martin Entertainment. Okay, people, I had started a series on God um, and business. What does the scripture say, right? And that's what I had started. Um, so the next thing for me to do is to interview individuals that um, I have lined up to come on board and and to do this. But you know what's interesting? You know, in doing this, um, some of the entrepreneurs um, still have actually, I, I guess like their, their main staple um, job, so to speak. And I just find it interesting or even the, the, the business that they have, I was told because of ethics, um, those that I asked to bring information to help those who are in business and entrepreneurs, couldn't that, you know, because I was told that the channel is viewed as religious, um, which I find it interesting because it's, Whenever we need God, we don't think about it as being religion, right? This whole COVID-19, you know, that we've been dealing with. And now what is that? The, the um, What is it? Omarin or, or Omnivarin? I don't even follow it, people, because, you know, I, I serve a higher power, but it's good to, to be in the know. But since a vaccine came out, Everyone thinking that the vaccine is, is, is the at all, but at the end of the day, I don't care how many vaccines is out there. When is your time to go? It's your time to go. So that's when the Holy Spirit gave me God always wins. 
And I had to think about that. I said, okay, God, because what is the channel? Right? God, the true undefeated champion, right? So he never loses a battle, right? But in the end, no matter what we have planned, God always wins, right? So, I mean, shout out to New Life Church today. Phenomenal word by Pastor Leah. And Pastor Leah was um, actually preaching on peace. But she took it, of course, from Luke um, chapter. Um, actually, I gave my favorite verse, Luke chapter 1, verse 37, where it said, For with God, nothing is or ever shall be impossible. Let's think about that for a minute. For with God, Nothing. It doesn't say some things. It doesn't say a little bit. It says nothing is ever or shall be impossible. Sila. Okay. So I was like, okay, God, that's one of my favorite scriptures. And every time I want to encourage myself, I always go to that scripture. But then I had to think about it. Coming around, people, I'm tying this in. Just bear with me one minute. When I started, or rather when the Holy Spirit gave me, it takes a community to raise a child. Where was I in that point in time? Okay, so I was a, I'm a former New York City assistant principal, people. And um, being, how was I at the time? I just had Josiah. So I was only 36. I was the youngest AP in my building. And between my base salary and the um, extracurricular activities that I supervised, I literally, and I was a 12-month AP. So I already made higher, a little higher than the ones that was working 10 months because I was all year round. And on top of that, I did what is called procession. So I was literally making over six figures doing this, right? And so life was good. You know, I'm 36. I'm making six figures. And at the time, I was with Josiah's dad. And he was on the um, police force, NYPD. So literally between the both of us, combined income, was about like a little over 200,000, both of us together. Okay, so life was like the Huxtables, people. Just, just imagine. Remember, I see Bill Cosby and, and his wife, Claire, and the, the kids and the house and what they were doing. Well, we would go on family vacations. I had a housekeeper, you know, because sister was, I was putting in some hours, like literally. I will be at work from 7 a.m. And granted, although school let out at 3, I will be in that building doing work after the hours. That's the time I was able to take a hoosa and, and just work. So I literally sometimes would be in the building till 11 p.m. at night. From 7 in the morning, people, to 11 p.m. at night, then I will get home do it all over again, get up for the next day. So, you know, I had a housekeeper, you know, that would cook clean. God bless her. It was Joan. She was actually Trinidadian too. Now my accent will come up. People know from my Caribbean people there. My father from Trinidad and my mother from St. Vincent. So Joan was from Trinidad. She was from San Fernando, right? She said she was from the country. So John will cook clean and, and, and take care of Josiah. And it was just awesome. Okay. And like I said, I, you know, I, at the time I had my two older sons and I just had Josiah. We were going on family vacations and everything. Life was good. Now just imagine you're living life like this, everything going good. And you hear the Lord tell you, to start a business that has never been done before. 
you like, Jesus, is that you? For real? No, God, is that you? The, the devil is a liar, you would think. Uh-uh, because you, you're doing good. You know, you're making that money. The, the, everything in the household is just going right. You know, you got your house, your vehicle, and housekeeper. And you're being told to do something that has never been done before. Thus, that's what it takes to raise a child at the time. This is in 2006 to start New York's first 24 hours, seven days a week, including holiday, after school, child care, learning center. So I'm like, God, how is this going to work? I got this to pay. I'm thinking mortgage, this, that, boom, boom. Like, I'm not seeing how this is going. So, of course, I'm thinking, you know, well, maybe I'm hearing things. I'm, this ain't the Lord. You know, maybe this is something else. But this ain't the Lord. Hmm. And I tried to ignore it. I'm going to just be honest, people. I tried to ignore it. I didn't want to do it. Life was just too good. Everything was set. And I was not trying to rock the boat. I just wanted to stay, do my years so I could become tenured. You know, all those who are educators in New York to know what tenure is. And that's it. But how many of you know that what your plans are is not what God plan is? And I'll never forget Joyce Meyer, shout out to Joyce Meyer. She said, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, right? Tell God your plans. If you want to make them laugh, tell him your plans, okay? So now, here it is. I'm thinking, like, how is this going to work? I got all of this to do. And God want me to do what? Okay, so, like I said, I try to ignore it. And... I'll never forget one day I heard loud and clear, like the Holy Spirit said, what did I tell you? Hmm. Next thing I know, my job that was just so gravy going perfect, all hell broke loose. All of a sudden, there was, um, I was actually injured on the job. ILOD in the line of duty injury, trying to break up a fight. Then I went from having um, nothing but satisfactory ratings, never had a complaint from a parent or anything. All of a sudden, it's um, I'm incompetent. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, are you serious? I mean, like everything just just came against me. So. And doing that, I said, you know what? I might as well focus on getting this center going because I'm home, I'm injured, and what am I to do, right? So I started researching, putting everything in get together to get it done. And it's interesting, um, shout out to Cicely, who was um, the licensed educator that came by, you know, to inspect the home because I said, I was just going to do it in my home. I didn't have the finances at the time to do the building. So I said, okay, God, I'm going to start it as a group family daycare. And I'll never forget when Cicely came and she looked. And they give you like a preliminary um, inspection, letting you know what has to be done. And I told her, I said, listen, I need for this to be up and running by June, right? This was in December. So, of course, literally six months. And she actually laughed at me. She was like, uh, I don't think that's happening because she's seen people literally when they did their application, it took them like three years. But how many know when you serve an awesome God, 
That is not the case. So wait, let me read this next scripture for you. Um, and this is John 14, 27. Peace I leave you. I leave with you my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Lord knows. So I'm like, okay. So I didn't say anything. I said, okay. So I just kept doing my research and doing what it was that I was supposed to do. And next thing you know, hello, somebody, June, guess who got licensed? See, <laughs> I serve an awesome God. I don't listen to what man tells me. I listen to what the Lord tells me to do. Okay? So, and that job that was so great before me and that came against me, how about everyone that came against me? Let's just say they were either no longer there, somehow was moved. I mean, <laughs> people, when I tell you, doing this broadcast, when I sit down and I take the time to reflect, hallelujah, on my life, and I see just how God just moved mountains for me. Why? Look at this. And I keep this on my desk. You see what that is? That's the mustard seed. Because if you have faith, hey, people, as small as this mustard seed. Come on, somebody. Nothing is impossible for you. So I keep this on my desk to remind me. Faith. That small. God can move mountains. So here it is. I went from being a six-figure salary New York City assistant principal to starting something. I had no idea how to do in terms of 24-hour child care. Now, mind you, people, I have been a daycare director before. God has blessed me. He always, if you look at your life in the past, he always set you up for such as time as what it is that you're at at that point. So I have been a daycare director. Actually, I was a daycare director prior to me becoming a New York City assistant principal. The only thing that was missing is that I have never done on my own, like my own program, 24 hours. And then when I looked around, it really wasn't nothing out there that I could go by. So I'm like, Lord, what am I to do? But see, when God gives you a vision, people, he always makes the provision. So God gave me resources and, and showed me different areas and, and people and things to look at as I put it together. How many of you are going through that now in your small business, your entrepreneurship? You know, this pandemic actually had brought about where people are actually finding a need that didn't exist before because of the pandemic. I want to challenge you to be faithful and to know that God did not put it in you for naught. His word, he said, I give you peace. Do not be afraid. I'm not going to lie. I was afraid. And I'm going to just say it before you people. I was afraid because here I am doing something that has never been done before. 
I don't have that cushion, okay, as being an employee of a conglomerate like New York City, DOE. Come on. DOE have a budget bigger than some third world countries. Come on, somebody. Their budget is like over $32.5 billion. I said, bu, 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 billion dollars, okay? And, and I had children to take care of, a mortgage to pay. <laughs> How about I open up a business when my house was in foreclosure? Come on, somebody. My house was in foreclosure. And the Holy Spirit allowed me to open up my learning center and get this. It was in foreclosure while I was in business throughout the whole entire time for like over nine years or something like that, people. Oh, come on, somebody. Tell me God isn't awesome. Tell me he isn't worthy to be praised. I want to encourage somebody. I know it may be scary, but the Holy Spirit said to tell you in the end, his will will be done. God will win. God will win. Hey, Zena. Oh, people, look at this. Work of arts. My girl, Zena, is on the line. I'm going to have her, people. She's going to come on and she's going to talk about her story, how she got started. Amen. That's right. As a nail tech. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, she's not a nail tech. She is a creative design. I'm going to let her break it down to you. But look at my nails. Isn't this awesome, people? Zena keeps a sister looking good. Okay? So shout out to Z. Thank you so much for your support. Um, beautiful sister, entrepreneur. I mean, I wait till you hear her story of the people whose nails, I mean, people in the industry now that she had done or still and still do. I mean, I, I can't wait to have her on. So, Z, I'm coming for you, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much, beautiful. Thank you. But I, I just want to encourage people, um, those who are entrepreneurs, those who are afraid to, to just step out there, listen, when God gave me, it takes a community as a child to do, like I said, I was working a six-figure salary. And I left that. I mean, my own mama thought I was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. People thought I was crazy to leave something like that. But people, when God called you to do something, who hallelujah, trust me when I tell you, in the end, God always wins, people. He always wins. His will will be done. And that's just it. His will will be done. And I have to tell you, by me stepping out on faith, okay, first of all, like I said, I'm like, Lord, where the capital coming from? Every, You know, I had no idea. I refinanced my house. We'll do that, beautiful. I refinanced my house. I mean, God taught me. I had learned something new. The Lord taught me how to write my own grants. I met people I didn't even think that I, I would actually meet. If, if you go on the website, which is in the link of a Texas Community Raise a Child, you will see all where God has taken me. Was it easy? No, people. I shed a many a tears. Trust me when I tell you. I shed a many a tears. But you know what? In the end, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing because it God pruned me. It made me stronger and it helped me to grow. So before um, I get off, I want to say a prayer for my girl Zena. Spirit of the living God, pour fresh upon Zena, Lord. 
Lord, continue to bless your daughter, Lord. Anoint her from the top of her head to the soles of feet, Father God. Continue to bless her up, her for Holy Spirit, Lord. She is your daughter, Lord, and she knows you, Holy Spirit. Just remind her and let her know your words say that you shall never leave her nor forsake her, that you shall be with her to the end of time. Lord, you said before I placed you in the womb, I knew you. So at such a time as this, Lord, where your daughter is on and she's listening. And I'm praying for her. Lord, you said when two or more gather in your name and we touch and agree that you are in the midst. So right now, Zena and I touch and agree that your word in is being done in her life. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. I love you, Z. Thank you, beautiful, for logging on. And before I get off, you know, I started this, people. Those, I want to see everybody in heaven. Because I know I'm going to heaven. And this, this life here is only temporary, okay? I know I am bound for heaven. But guess what you got to do, people? You got to admit out of your mouth and confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So every day in the end, I always go to Romans 10, 9. I'm sorry, people, let me scroll on this. And I really pray that this word was encouraging to somebody. I always tell my testimony because I only could tell you about my truth. And what I have gone through and in how the Lord had brought me through. And it said, because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe most important people in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Okay, people, Romans 10, 9. And with that said, once you confess that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, with your heart, you will be saved. Find a church in your neighborhood. Find a church that you can go to. Nowadays, because of COVID, a lot of churches are online, so you don't have to be there in person anymore. You could go to church online. And if you can't find the church people, reach out to me. My contact information is in the show more so less. And I will help you find the church. I also want to give a shout out to my baby, Gerard Obena, DK the second. Yes, people. I was married to a Nigerian from the Evo tribe. <laughs> my son Gerard just got a phenomenal opportunity. And I just want to congratulate him. I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm proud of all my children. You know, I, I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed by them. You know, and, and I just want to thank God for that. You know, so next time, people, when we get on, we're going to have an interview of an entrepreneur. We're going to talk about God and business and what does the scripture say as well as how they got their business going, where they're at now, how they dealt with COVID, how their faith, what scripture has helped them through all of this. Because people, at the end of the day, if you don't have nobody to encourage you, you got to encourage yourself. And that's what I do. Whether you put on praise music, you know, I, I put on, shout out to Professor T.D. Jakes. I listen to him, um, Bishop Marvin Sapp. Donnie McKirkland, where he go, greatest thy faithfulness. Oh, but I put that on. I get to shouting up in here saying, yes, Lord, you are faithful. God, you are faithful. You are so faithful. You have to encourage yourself, people. Do not let the enemy get a hold of you because the enemy is defeated. That's right. He is truly defeated. Come on, somebody. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, for being who you are. 
And I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to come on here on what? 100 and 0. Kapow! God's record. The true undefeated champion. Knowing that he never lost a battle. Take care and God bless.